our first project, we're going to go outside and I'm going to show you how to use one coloured pencil and to get some real good tones into your sketches. Now we've returned to the studio, we can now look at the techniques that I've done. This took about 20 minutes, by the way. And first of all, you need to look at the main shape of the object that you're intending to sketch, and then look at the tone from the object to the sky or the object to the foreground. And here, can you see that I've got some cross-hatching for the dark conifer tree and dark cross-hatching in under the little arch here. And I've got some open-weaved, dry pencil sketch all the way along the roof because it's quite dark against the sky. Some open work there and some gentle drawing in along here for the pots. And these rather nice abstract shapes of the panelling all the way across the front of the cottage. And the shading here, of course, has got dark, pencil work and of course the more pigment you put on when we're going to wash this over the darker it'll be of course. Right then let's make this sketch into a tonal painting. Um, first of all you need a soft brush possibly a soft nylon brush or a sable brush and you need some very clean water. First of all you need to have lots and lots of water and you can go round perhaps over the roof so that we're spilling the water over the colour right down there. More water, don't be frightened of the water, and just bring that gently over the top here. Yeah, can you see the weight? It's all diffusing. Don't make it too perfect because we've got a sketch here, not a photograph, you know, and it's just rather lovely like this. Bring that over there. Can you see the weight's diffusing all over the place here? Right, down there, over there. Now, that really does go into a lovely chocolate brown because I've put more pigment there. And down past the fence and under the porch, around the staddle stones. There we are. Another wee tree there. And over the foreground. Now, we can take the colour from the dark and bring a little bit more into the light area and that gives a little bit of tone and emphasizes the very light white paper because when you are doing a sketch you need to have some area that is the, called the focal point and the focal point is the main area of interest and I've decided that this could be it here just around the door and up into the conifer tree. We bring a little bit more water there, it's a dark area, and that shows up these small pot features and into the next cottage. But I'm going to leave that as a bit of a sketch. Run a bit more water there. Now another thing that I showed you in our first project was just to put a little bit of colour from the tip and bring that back here so we've got some shadows coming across the front of the cottage to give a little bit of feeling of shadowed area and it brings the structure a bit more to life. A little bit here and a tiny little bit of detail into the background here. Perhaps a wee slop of colour into the sky and then we can leave it as that.